Now that we're done our cylinder head, we can turn our attention to the cylinder block and pistons. So the first thing you want to do is label the pistons. And then you can use a pry bar if you want, but you have to make sure you don't break the fins or a rubber mallet. Here are three cylinder blocks that we have. This is the one I just took off the engine. We went ahead and honed these two blocks, but I want to show you why we still can't use them. This one had a lot of rust, and even after we honed it, you can still see a lot of the pitting and blackening in there, so um, this one's no good. This cylinder at the top turned out really well after we honed it, but on this one, there is a gouge that runs vertically, and even after we honed it, it's still there. If you take your fingernail and it can catch on that gouge, it's no good. This block is in pretty good condition. It's smooth, so we will have to hone it, but other than that, we'll be using that. This is our cylinder hone. It'll give us a cross hatching on the inside of the cylinder, which will allow for proper oiling and help the rings seat properly. So after cleaning it off, you're gonna go ahead and lubricate the cylinder. I have the hone attached to a drill. And you wanna go at a medium speed and up and down really fast about six to ten times. And then you want to go ahead and repeat for the next one. Now that we're done our cylinder block, we're going to start working on our pistons. I've already marked them left and right. And as you can see, there's a little arrow right here that will tell you what's the front and what's the back. So I'm going to be taking out this small ring right here. First I'm going to just stuff some rags around it because I don't want to drop it in the engine. Next you want to remove your piston, pin, and piston. I'm going to use a 10 millimeter socket. I'm going to show you the different parts of the piston. You have these two rings, which are compression rings. And there's three rings down here sandwiched together, which are the oil rings. Right at the top of this ring, you can see a little N here and here. And that's just to tell you when you put it back together, which side is facing up. So to take those off, I'm going to be using piston ring pliers. Let's see if I can do this. like that. And you want to go ahead and do that for the next one. The oil rings are more flexible so you can take them off by hand. You just want to make sure you don't scrape up your piston. clean the grooves on our piston. You can use a tool called a piston groove cleaner or as an alternative you can use your old ring 
if you cut it, and use the uncut edge to go around and clean the groove on your piston. I put my new piston ring in the cylinder. It's easier if you start from the back and push it up. I'm using a feeler gauge, you want to check how big that gap is right there. The specs are 0.10 to 0.25 millimeters. We're going to start putting our oil rings on. You want to start with the expander and make sure that none of the gaps line up against each other. These are the compression rings. You want to make sure that when you place them on, the end is facing up. There's a difference between both of them. The one on the bottom tends to be a little darker, but the true way you can differentiate between the two is that if you look at the curve on the top, this one, the one that's supposed to be on the top, is a little rounded. This one is cut at an angle. Once again, when you have these rings installed, make sure that these grooves don't face each other. And you're going to repeat the process for the next piston. We're going to install our piston. I've gone ahead and put our pin in a little ways just so it's easier to get started. You want to make sure that you have this arrow facing the front of the engine. With your piston pin fully seated, we can now reinstall our clip. I'm going to put our towel back in, in case I lose it. Redone your pistons, clean up your surface. Before you install your new head gasket.
We're going to put our block back onto our engine. We're going to go ahead and move the cylinder first. When you're guiding in the piston, you want to make sure that the rings we put on don't catch on the cylinder. So you kind of have to squeeze them in or you use a tool to push the rings in so that they can slide in. Once you're sure all the piston rings are inside the cylinder, you can go ahead and push down the block.